This is the plaintiff, Jonathan Freeman Sr. He says the defendant is the mother of his child, and she had him falsely arrested and accused him of hitting her. This has caused him great turmoil in his life. His lawyer proved in court that she lied, and he's here seeking the $10,000 he's most certainly due. This is the defendant, Olivia. She says she came home one day to find the plaintiff in bed with another woman. The louse cheated on her in their own house. Bottom line, the guy hit her. He was arrested and his problems are his problems. And she owes nothing. She's accused of making things up. All parties, please raise your right hands. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Okay, Mr. Freeman, you are suing the mother of your child for $10,000 that you say you had to expend because she brought false charges against you and for emotional distress. Let me hear from you, Mr. Freeman. What's going on? Hey, how's it going? Um, so I met um, the defendant um, in high school. We were in a, I guess, maybe around seven year um, on and off again relationship. Um, We've had our ups and downs over the years. Um, it was more downs for me. And I eventually got brought forth into this situation. Um, the night before, she claimed that I um, assaulted her. Hold on um, one second. You have me. a baby together. How old is the baby? He's seven. He is seven. Mm. Okay. And then you ended up, at some point while you were on again, you end up getting arrested. And what is it you get arrested for, Mr. Freeman? Um, she was talking to a friend of mine. Um, he sent me the information and I was just like, what do you mean oh, by talking? To, you mean she, flirting, right? She, yeah, yeah. She was flirting with a friend of mine. And um, the friend sent, sent you what information? Pictures of the texts? Yes, ma'am. And wh wh what did they say yeah. that made you think they were flirty? Basically, she was saying that he's cute. Um, she wants to get to know him, things of that nature. Yeah, that's pretty flirty. All right. And then, uh, so your friend shows it to you and what happens? When he shows it to me, um, I get mad. At, I'm going back and forth over Facebook. And she, um, I sent her a picture of me kissing another girl. Oh, She okay. tells me, oh, yeah, Scott, just to get back. She tells me that's why I called the police to um, tell them you raped me. And um, when did that happen? This happened in um, 2013. 2013? Uh, yes. And had she called the police? Had she actually done that? Yes. She said that I raped her. I got a phone call from um, DeKalb County um, Police Department. And when I went down there, I spoke to him. I explained him the situation and um, basically told him that I did not rape her. Um, I was able to cross-reference the date. She said I raped her. So she, your girlfriend filed a false police report saying you raped her in 2013. Yeah. And we're yeah. going to talk about stuff that happened because you stayed with her in 2018? Yes, we got, yeah, after the false rape. Okay, why wouldn't you run around. in the opposite direction when someone falsely accuses you of rape? Unfortunately, um, I have mommy issues. I have um, mommy issues? I was abused by my mother. Why would you stay with her? We wasn't together. We, we eventually got back together um, because I was threatened for me not being able to see my son and things like that. My father wasn't there. I wanted to make sure I was going to be there for my son. So was was I your son born sure. when she when she uh, alleged that you raped her? He was born. I was pregnant five months later. I got yeah, she pregnant. Was pregnant at the time. It was, she was pregnant yeah. at the time that you kissed the other girl and she was pregnant at the time that she was flirting with the other guy. Yes. Um, Ms. Olivia, can you explain to me what happened on the rape allegation? Um, so it's not like it was the situ the sex wasn't forcefully, but I do feel like I was manipulated into having sex, which is what I explained to the officer, which is why they called him in to have that conversation. Manipulated how? What did you tell the police? Do you have what she told the police? All it says on the uh, work order was, I mean, on the case number is, is I responded to a call for 
Um, that says she was sexually assaulted. I'd like to understand assault. what yeah. police officer writes just that. I mean, because that's pretty <laughs> incredible. So the police get involved. And, you know what? I should have slept with that guy because, you know, he was kind of manipulating me. And then the police go, oh, let me go figure it out. Let me get to the bottom of it. Let me do my Cracker Jack <laughs> police work and get to Because at the time I was Obviously asking Obviously you questions. told him he raped you or the police wouldn't have gotten involved. In fact, your text mm-hmm. to him back in 2013 says when he sends you the picture, let's look at that, shall we? Mm. Let's look at that. You mad you got caught. And then he sends a picture of him kissing some girl. And then she says, really? That's why I called the police and called rape on your and press charge. You want to be dirty? I played dirty too. I tired. So talk to me about that. Because that sounds like you made a false rape allegation because you were mad at him kissing a girl, Ms. Olivia. At the time, I was 17 when I sent that text message. We were, eight, we were 18. 17 or 18, I don't care. I mean, if it doesn't you're, matter. It sounds but like you've called a false rape allegation in to hurt somebody, to play dirty. Is that what you did? No. Well, it is what you did. You just finished well, excusing it by telling me you were 17. So, Mr. Freeman, now let's talk. That's 2013. OK, you yeah, apparently you that. forgave her and you guys got back together for whatever reason, for the child, for whatever. So what I want to understand, Mr. Freeman, is what happened now that causes you to come to court to sue for ten thousand dollars? Because the bond and the classes and all that is for a different case, correct? Yeah, they're all for the, the original domestic violence um, case that she put against me. All right. And that point is in what year? 2018. Okay. December 2018. And, she, and Ms. Olivia, why did you call the police regarding domestic violence? What happened? This time, the, the December of 2018, he gets a message on his phone. Not a message, a phone call. And it says, Essence. We're in, in the middle of doing laundry. And I said, oh, who is Essence? He refused to answer the question. I'm going to ask you again, who's Essence? Oh, she's just a friend. Well, I know all of your friends. That I, I don't know her. Finally, the truth comes out, and it's a girl that he's been talking to for since the beginning, back in November, is when they started talking, of 2018. Okay. Um, so I was like, okay. We started arguing about that. That led to him putting his hands on me so not only are you putting your hands on me over a female, but it's a female that you cheated on me with. So I'm not dealing with well, how, that. Well, how did he put so his hands on you? At first, gripping my head, gripping my, my throat, choking me. Um, he decided he wanted to put hands in my face. So I don't um, understand what the phrase hands the in my face means. Did he hit you? Did he slap you? Did like, he punch you? What did he do? He slapped me. With an open hand or a closed hand? Open. Okay. And then what? So then I left and went to a friend's house and I called police from her house. And I told them what had happened and they were like, okay, well, we're, we're going to look into it. They took pictures of the bruises and stuff that was on my face and things like that. You end up getting arrested for this in December of 2018, correct? That's the charge that you are, you have to post a bond on. You ended up doing, class. that's what you want reimbursed to you. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. All right. So let's talk about that. She says that you attacked her. I see the police report. The police report shows bruises on her. So what is your testimony about what happened that day? I kind of decided that to somewhat like my mother. I don't want to be with somebody like my mother. So, um, yes, yeah, she's correct. There was a time where I got a phone call from a young lady named Essence. We get into a little argument. She ends up leaving. The next day... I don't come home. She sends me a video um, basically saying that you need to fix your family. I'm going to break all your stuff. Okay. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. I want to see Mm -hmm. that video. Talk to me now. I'm starting to up. I swear on the life of your son. I will up. There is no way you're going to sit here and tell me that you are going to leave me for like and talk to her instead of fixing the out of your family. Fix your family. So when I got that video, I knew, you know, everything that hit the fan because the first time I left her, false rape. Second time I left her, she sent naked pictures of me to my job. Now this is the third time she's claiming that I'm I'm, the third time I'm leaving her. I'm figuring something's going to go down. 
So I'm already preparing that something's finna go down. I came back home from work later on that night. The house was a mess. I seen she took all her stuff. I'm just like, all right, cool. All right, clean up my house. Invite Essence over again. I invite her over. You don't waste so any Essence time, do you? Unfortunately, no, because actually this isn't... This so isn't you a, invite this Essence over again, that... and then what happens? Tell me what happened. She says you hit her. Did you, yes or no? No, I did not hit her. I wasn't even at the house. I didn't know about the domestic violence case I, until I came back home. I invite Essence over. We're talking. I hear something at the door around 2 o'clock in the morning. I hear somebody coming through the door, and she's trying to bush, bum rush into the room. I'm holding her back. As I'm holding her back, she's starting to push me, like push me, mushy my face. Bro. And I was like, hey, chill out, chill out, chill out. So, and I look, I say, what's wrong with your face? Because I saw she had bruises and stuff on it. She says, oh, you would know you did it. Um, the police were called. Now they're on their way. They take both of, they take all of our statements. Um, nobody was going to be arrested until the officers were leaving. They get right into that truck. She yelled out, he has a warrant now for his arrest. He has a warrant now for his arrest. And it's like a warrant for what? The officer went, uh, came back, went back to his car. He did a little more tests and found out, yes, there's an active warrant out for my arrest. Why was there a warrant out for your arrest? Because earlier that day, she lied and said I beat her when I was at work. So did you plead guilty to it? No, no. The so then how did you end up having to go to classes and all that? They mandated me with the TPO that she got. The judge mandated me to actually take the classes. So I didn't plead. I didn't take anything. When you get a TPO in Georgia, they make you take these classes. Uh, if the judge says you're guilty, they make you take these classes. OK, so, so did you have a hearing classes. and then they made you take the classes? Yes, I had a hearing. OK, so why would she have to pay for your classes? You're suing for seven hundred and twenty dollars for that because you're saying the judge shouldn't have believed her, even though the judge did. And you didn't do it. And she yeah. has a history of lying. The thirty five hundred dollars for the attorney's fees. That was for what? That was after the TPO um, cases. Um, I was rearrested again for a felony aggravated stalking. Um, what happened was after I got locked up for when she lied and said I beat her, she went back and put my name inside and, and put my number inside the app, contacted herself multiple times, went back to um, went back to the SBCU. Then she entered my name into it and said I was contacting her. Next thing I know, you have a police report of that as well. I have um, a police said, report that'll tell me what? That she falsified texts and stuff? No, basically the police report says that she, um, that I was contacting her. So because oh, the police report Oh, I have a police that report was, that helps her case, that you were contacting yeah, her. her. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought I was going to see a police yeah. report that she was found to have been falsifying texts. Okay, $3,500 you yeah. paid for an attorney. This is a statement of yeah. account for one, two, three, four, five, six cases against you. Is After that accurate, Ms. Uh, Olivia? No. Who are these other cases? What are these other cases? I only filed two, and I reported a violation of a TPO order because his now wife, Essence, she called me and she was like, we need to have a sit down and have a conversation. I said, there's nothing to talk about. We really don't need to have a conversation. What is done is done. You decided you wanted to pull your gun out on me that night. I told you. Oh, if she pulled a shoot, gun out on better, you? She pulled a gun out on me. And I said to her plainly. Did you have charges against her for that? Shoot, I tried to have press charges against her for that, but they wouldn't. It never went through. On a gun charge? That's the one on that didn't charge. go through? She pulls out a through. gun on you and you say, if you're going to shoot, what? If you're going to shoot, don't miss. Because otherwise, it's really going to be an issue because you have no reason to pull a gun out on me. Like that, that was just it's like I'm not attacking you. Well, I'm trying to have a conversation because I want to know why you're in my house in my bed with mm -hmm. him. That's what I see. I then you're, he's like, oh, they were having a conversation. No, y'all were in the bed making out, getting ready to have sex. You had hickeys all down your side of your neck. So that was one. Then um, the second was I was getting all of these different text messages. The number that popped up was his number. It shows up on my um, phone logs at the time. And that's what I handed over to police. Now, you tell me, Mr. Freeman, when I see a police report mm -hmm. that says that, you know, there are bruises and she tells me about three different times that you've put your hands on her. Does that mean you've never put your hands on her? Obviously, the judge didn't listen to that 2013 excuse and required the so, classes yeah. as a punishment yeah. on the TPO. Yeah. So why would she have to pay for that? A judge sentenced you to that. And then you have these uh, attorneys 
fees for these cases. You know, you filed this case originally. You yeah, dropped this happened. whole thing and then uh-huh. you've revived it two years later because she, you are now having pro- issues with visitation and custody with her. You end up at some point paying him a couple of hundred bucks. Why did you do that? Because I want him to leave me alone. I just want it to be over with. And that I couple of hundred bucks was oh. representing what? His filing fee on the civil case? I don't know. I just, no, I it was representing the whole. No, Yana, right. it was representing the whole. All right. I am unable, He's based on your right testimony, together. to find that it is more likely than not that things happened the way you're testifying that they happened. I do know that this is something that happened for one reason and one reason only, that you're back in court. There's a threat about taking you back in court for child support. And now something from three years ago is brought up when if it's true that the whole thing was a scandalous lie. Why wouldn't you have pursued it three years ago? But all right, you brought it up. You've had your chance to prove it to me. You had five cases against you for violating restraining orders, for having communication anyway, for sending third parties to communicate with her. You know, and you have this really bad relationship, the two of you, and it doesn't seem to matter if this pours over onto the child. You guys don't belong in a small claims court. You guys belong in family court. You belong in a place where there's court ordered intervention for everybody involved. To, so not for you and not for him, but for the child. In terms of being able to prove to me that she owes you 10 grand, I find you fail to be able to prove it. That is my verdict. Well, in this major dispute between two parents involving a child, the judge finds the plaintiff does not get $10,000. So let's see what uh, Mr. Freeman has to say. You brought the case to court, Mr. Freeman. What do you think? Unfortunately, she didn't even allow me to explain. Um, There's a situation to where she did an aggravated stalking. I was able to prove that she was lying about the aggravated stalking. I got that case dismissed. I also went every single month. Every time I tried to do anything for my son, she brought me back to court. I had to get, I got each and every one, all those cases that were on there were all dismissed cases against her, all payments I had to make towards a lawyer, and eventually the final case for this had got dismissed. All of my cases had got dismissed. I did my best and she would try to file. She was, up, she was paying me. She paid me for the original lawsuit that I put against her. I know you're upset, but the judge heard you. She heard you she didn't. with your points. She did not feel <clears throat> like you proved your case. She also said this because is a case that really belongs in family court. So that's her decision. OK, let me talk to you, Olivia. You heard the judge. I mean, this is not going to end in, the, in this case here today. You know, you got to go to family court over these issues. It's, it's okay? completely fine. He can go back to civil court. It's completely fine. But the fact still remains, you went the entire year of 2020 without serving me anything. Now it's 2021 and you're mad you're being sued. It's too much. I want him to stop. Leave me alone. I left y'all alone. I don't call y'all. I don't bother y'all unless it has something to do with our child. So... All it's right. going to go back to family court, most definitely, because this is too much. Uh, I think everybody would agree it is too much, indeed. So you get it back to family court. Follow Judge Melian's <laughs> advice and uh, good luck to both of you. And that'll bring this case to a close. An amazing case. Quite a dispute. Harvey? Well, Doug, this is an interesting case because the burden of proof is a little bit different here. The burden of proof is on the plaintiff to prove that he didn't hit the defendant. And that's because essentially he's suing for defamation and false arrest. He was unable to prove that. Normally, you have to prove an affirmative thing. Here, he has to prove something in the negative. He was unable to do it, and that's why he lost. Where is your happy place? My happy place where the the best place to go to get away from it all, to recharge and just feel better is uh, our little place in North Carolina. And I think you probably saw that coming. Yeah. It's a two mile drive down a dirt road uh, on 10 acres in the middle of nowhere. And uh, there are beautiful views from there. And it's just it's quiet. All you can hear. I can see the change in your face as soon as the the tires hit the gravel. Right. The wind in the trees and the birds and crickets and that sort of thing. And you know what? The other thing that my dog loves it. So, um, you know, if the dog. Because it's the only time the dog's off leash. 
Yeah, pretty much. Right. That's that's my getaway. Well, how about you? Do you have a happy place that's uh, um, other than that? Other than that, my happy place is the couch when all the girls are home and everybody's, it's raining outside and we're all watching a movie or what, and no one can leave. Everybody's got to stay that's so there. That's so funny. You are such a, a social creature. Like your, your happy place could never be a place where you are apart from other people. Oh, or, never. No, it's always got to be. Everybody's like cats. Everybody's like cats all over this. this yeah, 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 yeah.